So um, it's been kind of a rough time, and that's why part of the reason why we haven't been out much. I lost my son um, December 27th of 2022 unexpectedly. He unfortunately died of a drug overdose at 35, and it's obviously been really heart-wrenching. Um, but he loved the beach, and he uh, was homeless, but he spent a lot of time up at El Cai in Seattle and Owens Beach in Tacoma, Washington, and I just feel really close to him here. And I brought a couple things of his that um, he collected, and I'm going to try to find a pretty place to leave them here. Just wanted to share that, and, and I'm just really happy to be here. Yeah, losing um, Valerie's son has definitely impacted our relationship in ways you never really think about, you know. It's, obviously, there's grief and anger goes with grief. And things come out a little wrong sometimes. And it changes you, you know. Doesn't mean it changes you for in a bad way. You're just different. So we've we've struggled, and but we communicate very well and work our way through everything that we run into. I don't know if she's mentioned it in another video, but she also lost her mother in the same year, in March. 2022 so it's been a really hard year definitely needed a break to come out here yeah losing somebody doesn't just like affect you it affects your relationships and the people that your your partner doesn't know what to do and they feel like they've lost you as the person that you used to be, so. You gotta find ways to, I guess, learn a new way to be together. But Paul is a, an amazing partner and he's my best friend and we're gonna get through this. It's interesting how grief is sometimes, you know, it's like the ocean. It's small little waves and you can ride them and you go along and you're seemingly okay. And then all of a sudden this big wave comes and just crashes down on you and we don't as a society, we don't really uh, lean into grief, I guess. We want to get better really fast. And we don't want to feel the pain, but the only way th to get through it is through it. And that's what we're going to do. And there's so much to look forward to and I just have to look at that and know that there are people that need me. That's right. There are. Like me. My daughters need me. Anyway, thanks for letting us share that.